How to make alcohol fuel when the world has ended, gas stations are graveyards, and your generator is hungrier than you are. Cities are silent. Pumps are bone dry. That solar panel array you scavenged? Cute, but it won't power jack when nuclear winter blocks the sun for three months. No worries. We're making moonshine that runs machines. Step one. Find anything with sugar. Rotten fruit from abandoned orchards, expired soda from looted stores, even table sugar from some optimist's pantry. Fermentation doesn't care about expiration dates. Step two: yeast. Check bakeries, breweries, or that hipster sourdough starter still bubbling in their dead kitchen. Mix it all in whatever container survived: plastic jugs, metal drums, your neighbor's fish tank. Wait two weeks. The yeast eats sugar, burps out ethanol and CO2. Basic biology turning garbage into gold. Step three: distillation. Build a still from copper pipes, a pressure cooker, anything that boils and condenses. Heat the fermented slop. Alcohol boils at 173 degrees Fahrenheit. Water at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Collect the vapor that condenses first. If your engine roars back to life, congrats! You just turned fruit rot into horsepower. If it explodes, well, at least it was spectacular.